dolls. <laughs> hey dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a part of the family. My name is Z, and I love to do tons of fun feminine content on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, please be sure to press the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. All of my social medias will be linked in the description box below. So now that you know what you need to know, let's go ahead and hop into this video. So you all saw the titles and I am still super excited because it is about a time to switch some things up and particularly my coffee bar in my kitchen. It is cute and all spring and gingham and bunny rabbit themed but you guys it's time for summer okay so we gotta switch that up now I'm thinking of going for something that can probably last a little bit longer than just summertime something that could last me all the way until fall time because that is the next time I'll probably switch out my coffee bar so I'm looking to do something not necessarily summery because at first I was thinking ooh, we could do a cute cherry themed coffee bar or maybe we could do a cute butterfly themed coffee bar for the summer but then I was like I could get sick of that real fast so I just want something that's me that is kind of like timeless so that's what we're gonna be working on today I want it to be totally cute pink girly you guys know the deal so let's go ahead and go into the kitchen and get started Okay dolls, so we have made it to the kitchen and we are at my current coffee bar now you guys, this coffee bar, this whole kitchen needs to be renovated. It's super old. So if you're new here, you probably haven't heard me say this before, but I have been trying to get permission from my leasing office and my landlord to update my cabinets to like a better cabinet tree. I'm thinking white, maybe clear up here so you can see all of my pretty mugs in here, you guys. So yeah, this is where I keep all of my pretty pink mugs. And then I'm just gonna give you guys kind of a quick before overview and tour so you know where everything is. I have all of my like essentials. I have some tea there and stuff drawers and cup holders and lids in this drawer here so i have a lot of you guys can see spring theme still up so i have a lot of bunnies and gingham and white and pink stripe we have this little lace doily that i can't remember where i got it from i want to say i got it from a thrift store we have this sign i love this i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep this up or take it down i don't know if it fits the vibe but it says we go together like cream and sugar and then I love you a latte I got this set from Target during Valentine's Day but I still think it fits really good in the kitchen this plant I actually got from a thrift store a long time ago this is a little crate that I got from the Dollar Tree and I painted it pink and I just keep some tea in here and then above that I have this like towel set if you will and this is actually from valentine's day and i got that from target as well so that definitely needs to come down because that's valentine themed although you can't really tell the two things that i'm puzzled about is the uh, um, little canisters here the coffee and sugar these are my regular canisters that i use pretty much all year round except for christmas and I, I kind of want to not use these because I feel like they don't match the current theme that I'm going for. So these might get exiled. I have my little whisk here that I probably need to figure out what I'm going to do with if I'm going to keep it up or not. Depending on if it matches the vibe, I kind of personally feel like it doesn't. <laughs> but I mean, um, I have to figure it out. I might also end up DIYing this. Not in this video, probably in another video. Um, and then yeah, you guys have already seen the gingham print and all of that. And then here is my teapot because I'm a tea drinker, you guys. I only drink iced coffee, which brings me to my next announcement. I am going to be doing an iced coffee bar theme. So dr think iced drinks, think mixed drinks, think cocktail, think summer drink vibes because I don't really drink hot coffee, y'all. So we're gonna be going with something like that. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop right in, you guys. Okay, dolls, so I wanted to share with you some things that I pulled to decorate the coffee bar. I am kind of going for like a plain Jane type of theme. Obviously, summer inspired, but kind of something that could go all year round. I don't want it to look too summery, if you know what I mean. I might in the future set up like a summer coffee bar for like 
a week or two for fun, but I'm just not one to like have all of the lemons or the cherries and all that around for summertime. That would kind of drive me insane. And I really want to go for something kind of blanket that I would enjoy and not get sick of too quickly. So I pulled some things I already have. I'm going to try to do this video without purchasing anything new and I feel like I can do it I feel like too often we start a new project and then we purchase a whole bunch of new things and then we end up having to declutter our entire apartments which hopefully you guys got to see oh you probably haven't seen it yet but I do have a vlog of a week of me just decluttering everything and I just did not understand how I could have accumulated so many things and now I know it's because Every single time I have a project, I go out and I purchase new things without even realizing it. And I'm just having all of this stuff that I really don't need. And I need to repurpose and reuse things I already have. So I pulled out a few things I felt could possibly work for the coffee bar. So the first thing we need to do is remove everything down from here. So let's go ahead and remove everything down. Hey you guys, so everything is cleaned off as you guys can see. Now I was just thinking about this and it kind of just came to my head, but I kind of want to do something here. Now obviously I can't do anything permanent like a backsplash or anything like that until I get permission from my landlord. So I need to find a temporary solution. Definitely want to just change this white out. So I was thinking flowers you guys what if we did a backsplash of like flowers I've been really into the flower walls and the hanging flowers I just feel like for some reason flowers tend to elevate a space now it doesn't seem practical in the kitchen no but y'all know me I am not a practical decorator I am an artsy decorator so I think we're gonna try that out I have this little shopping tote that I have some fake flowers that I have left over from DIYing my flower door if you guys have not seen that you need to check out my room tour I do have another one coming soon but check out my room tour also there's tons of like DIYs of it on TikTok so check that out as well um, but I have these little panels, like leftover panels. Now, it's not a whole panel, right? It's just like the leftovers. So I want to kind of measure this out. I'll just zoom out so you guys can see. I kind of want to measure this out and see if it'll like kind of cover the entire thing. <music> idea but now I'm getting kind of scared because mm, I don't feel like I have enough but maybe if we place them sporadically it should be enough I mean if we can cover this entire space down here it should be enough yeah I don't think we have enough you guys this is scary yeah it doesn't look like we have enough to cover the entire wall I wish we did you guys but it doesn't look like it Okay, you guys, so a bad news, we actually don't have enough to cover this entire wall. Um, I kind of just laid the pieces next to each other and I can see that there's a big whole half left and all I have is this. So we're gonna just take this down um, and then I have another idea, you guys. So don't worry, don't worry, don't worry.
cute are these? I need to clean them and take the label off, but I feel like this is really cute. I mean, this is definitely an iced coffee cup. But we can have iced coffee cocktails as well, babe. Oh, those are so gorgeous. Oh, oh my God. How cute is that? What do you guys think? Do you like these? Or do you like these? Comment below. Also have these, which are true coffee, iced coffee cups that would work really well, honestly. We could do something like this. Italiano mambo, mambo italiano. And then I have these two as well. They're a little bit smaller, but the same type of theme. This one, by the way, you guys do not put these in the dishwasher because this one got damaged. As you can see, that's how it's supposed to look. So I think. Ah, uh, that's cute too. That's giving iced coffee. Oh yes, babe. Mm, you guys, I don't know. I can't choose, I can't choose, I can't choose. Okay, so since I took away my sugar container um, and my coffee canister, I need to figure out something to replace that. Now I do have like my teas and everything that I keep my coffee inside of my coffee canister in this drawer. So I don't necessarily need the coffee canister over here, but I do need something to put like my sugar inside of. So let's see what we can find. Okay. okay, so I've come up with these little clear containers that could easily hold sugar. This one I might have to refill pretty frequently. I think this is a vibe. Probably just put that right there. Ooh, that's perfect fit with the sugar. Yeah. Now I want to pull out some straws that I can use. So I think that might be cute as well. Okay guys, so I have some of my glass pink straws in here. I'm just gonna rinse them off because it looks like something's in one of them. That's so gross. Okay, but yeah, I have my pink glass straws. I'm just gonna try and put these out and see if I can like, oh, you know what might be cute? Like if we were to put them in like this jar, this cup keep them out that might be cute I actually kind of low-key like that idea I kind of like that but I have to clean these let me clean those okay so we have our glass pods. okay you guys so also this section over here I wanted to put like a sign in there maybe something i can get off of etsy but then i was like i really don't want to spend any money i really want to have a challenge where i decorate or transform my space just kind of using what i have because i think that bringing more affordable decor to people is much more of value than trying to influence people to buy more stuff so i don't know about the etsy sign obviously if you guys want to print something out over etsy go right ahead girl but i'm thinking that i'm just going to take this picture frame that i already have and kind of diy something myself i do have some stencils where i can like print something on or paint something onto so i was thinking something like coffee bar or maybe not coffee bar something cuter maybe like recipes like coffee recipes and then put like little names of coffee there like my favorite coffee i only like one coffee really <laughs> um or something like that you guys comment below because i don't know if i'll be able to get to this diy in this video only because i don't entirely know what i want to do yet and i want to love it so yeah comment below on this video what i should put in here or should i just put something that just says coffee i don't know you guys but that's the idea that's going to be like my stand and so now i have these straws i want to add the straws into the cups i think everything's looking good so far i'm actually pretty shocked at how it's coming out because i did not expect this now the only other thing is i do want to use these but i just feel like there's like legitimately no place to put them like i don't even know where would i put this could i put it up here 
think where slay where okay I wanted to add like some treats like I don't know like some candy sticks or something so I was thinking of bringing some of my candy rock candies in from Valentine's Day if you guys remember these and putting them in there I just feel like candy on a coffee bar looks really pretty uh, this would be cute something like this why is it not focusing boom focus I don't know why it's doing that. Whoa. Something like this. And I also have some pink Starburst. Just weight it down so they don't fall out. Something like that. I mean, what do you guys think? But then also, like, where would this go? And, and I want the coffee bar. The, the, the hardest thing about the coffee bar is it kind of has to be practical in a way. So that's kind of hard about it. And this is really nice. I have to clean it out. But I was like, okay, we can put, like, extra cups and stuff. Like, maybe this. I don't know, you guys. I am going to look for an option to DIY this side and then I'm gonna come back to you guys also need to change out the battery so we're gonna take a quick break and then I'll be back okay dollies so I have kind of come to some options all right so I brought over this little tray here because I thought this would be good for like serving drinks when like friends come over and stuff like that so I figured I'm gonna leave these on here just for serving when my friends come over I ended up going ahead and putting the little dish that I showed you guys put sugar inside of over here and I thought maybe it was just a little too low and I might need to just raise it a little bit so I did bring back over this little riser thing that I had on the bar before. So I was thinking of doing something like this. Maybe something like that. I just feel like it lifts it a little bit and so it won't be hitting this when I take it off. Yeah. So I don't know. That's what it is for now. Um, it might change, but that's what it is for now. Next thing I want to do is find a way to kind of wire this plug through the flowers around behind here so that it'll be plugged in and then I'll just be able to this thing detaches so figure out how to install that so it's plugged in properly and then this can kind of go any which way on here okay and then I also brought back over these signs you guys I know I've had these up since like valentine's day but they're so freaking cute and i love that it says i love you a latte and we go together like cream and sugar and i thought can we incorporate this somehow into my coffee bar i don't know you guys while i'm thinking about that i want to show you what i came up with for the glass straws so i'm thinking the martini glass with the glass straws and it looks so much prettier also, I didn't want to use one of these glasses because I feel like we're going to be drinking out of them. Um, the only thing about the martini glass is I feel like the straws, if they're too long, they're going to keep flipping out of the cup. So that's kind of a bummer. I don't know about that. I don't know, but that's what it's currently looking like. I just wanted to make sure that the straws were accessible to the cups and everything. I can also move the straws over here and then move that wand over there. Let's see how that looks the wand go over here oh I already don't like the wand there okay so that's what the wand looked like I actually don't like that I just don't like this wand at all <laughs> um this isn't too bad over here this is actually better, but like I said, I don't want that wand over there. So I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I kind of do feel like the straw should be next to the cups. Ooh, girl. How annoying. Girl, 
Oh, I don't know. These straws are being so annoying right now. Okay, so tip for you guys. If you have these types of straws that have the bendy part, put them in upside down if you're going to use a wide um, dish to hold them in because then they'll stay in. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm so irritated with the straws right now. I actually don't hate this setup. I actually like the straws next to the cups. I feel like that makes more sense than them being all the way over here. I just don't like this thing here, but... It is what it is, you guys. I think it's coming out pretty good. I'm trying to decide if and where I could put this. I feel like there's not really anywhere to put it unless I was going to do something like that. Or, you know, like, I guess we could. That's just doing too much. Like, that's doing a whole lot, a lot of. The most that I think I could do is something like this. What do you guys think? Is it too much? Y'all know me. I'm kind of over the top. I don't know. I kind of feel like this may be a little too much and maybe just do, yeah, it was a little too much. I think I'm just going to DIY this sign and then we're going to come back and I'm going to give you guys the finished look. Also, I ended up putting the canisters over on this counter. I think it works perfectly. I can put like dried rice and beans in here to cook with. So I just left them out and I think they match pretty good with the kitchen. Little by little, the kitchen is becoming more and more pink. Like, I wonder if Bunny notices. Okay, I'm going to go now and DIY that sign, and then I'm going to come back to you guys and give you the final look of everything. Okay, dolls, we are back, and I'm sorry if the camera's a little bit off. Um, My tripod is broken now, so another thing to worry about getting fixed. But I am working on this sign right there for the coffee bar. And I found some stock paper that I was using for my um, my photo album. Okay, so here's the first piece of stock paper. It's just like a white wood stock paper that could go in here. And I have some pink paint that I'm just going to put probably iced coffee on and stick in there. I like the fact that it's white. What I don't like about it is the wood. I just feel like the wood doesn't match the vibe of the coffee bar. But I also kind of feel like no one's probably going to be paying attention to that. That might just be a me problem. My number two option, which is the option I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with, is this stock paper. It's like a baby pink with bows all over it. I actually got this for um the photo album page with all of pinky's second birthday photos on but i feel like i also have another stock paper that i want to use for that so i might end up having to go get another one of these and by the way these are from hobby lobby um actually this one's from michael's and the white one's from hobby lobby but yeah it has like gold bows all over it and i was thinking of taking the white paint and doing the opposite so I'm kind of feeling like that might be a vibe, but would it be too much pink? I don't know. Like, should we go with the white? I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go with the pink. And you guys are probably wondering how I plan to get the letters on there, the words. I was going to use a stencil, but I measured out my stencil against my paper and this, the size of it, the sign, and the stencil's letters are actually too large. So I'm going to use this glue stick little method. I'm going to dot the words on with this because I think that that'll give it a cool, cute little effect. So first things first, let's go ahead and measure out the stock paper for the sign and then we'll get creating.
you guys, probably the worst DIY that I've ever done. I'm so embarrassed to say it. Can you even tell that it says coffee? Because I can't even tell that it reads coffee. That's how bad it is. Is that coffee spelled F O F F E? Girl, it's so bad. But I'm going to let it dry and then I will come back to you guys and give you the tour. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go really, really fast because Bunny wants to come in here and cook and do all the crazy stuff. So let me go ahead and take you guys through everything that we finished. So you guys already see, I think the sign came out pretty stupid looking. So I'm probably definitely gonna end up redoing that. As you can see, the C is barely there. You can't even see the coffee. So I'm gonna redo that. But I actually don't mind the little sign there that I love you a latte. I think it's cute. And then we have our little mugs here for drinking when guests come over. I still need to fill this with sugar. And then I ended up putting the whisk over in the corner. I think it looks good. I am gonna probably DIY this as well. I'll probably put like either pearls or like DIY pearl stones on it or maybe some rhinestones. I don't know yet, still deciding. This flower thing, I actually like it. I still have to put more tape up because it keeps falling in the corner. Um, so yeah, that, I still have to rewire the cord so it works properly, but I think it came out pretty cute. I like the way it looks. I like the straws over here. I already told you guys that. The cups, it's like, I feel like I wouldn't get sick of this as much as I would like something like a lemon theme or a strawberry or a cherry theme. Um, but you guys let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Do you like it? What would you change about it? Or if you would change anything at all? Okay, Dolly, so that is it. I hope you got inspired. Now let's go ahead and cue the outro. I hope you dolls enjoyed this video. I hope you got inspired. Please let me know in the comments below which part of my coffee bar is your favorite or let me know something that you would do differently on the coffee bar. I love you dolls. Please make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. If you liked it, it lets me and the algorithm know that you love videos like this and then I'll make more for you. So yes, love you dolls. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye, dolls.